100% mortgages are back. That's right. If you're a first time buyer looking to buy a property with no deposit, this can now happen uh, with 100% mortgage. We're going to look into the product. We're going to talk about some of the eligibility criteria, how you can get this mortgage. We've set up this channel to talk about all different types of mortgages, whether you're a first time buyer, next time buyer, anybody who's looking for different types of mortgages, we're here to help. We've got over 200 videos. So I'll catch you on the video and please do like and subscribe if you do find this information useful. Hello everybody, it's Payam here from Niche. Hope you're all well. Well, we've got 100% mortgages that have come back into the market. So let's talk about it. Um, Skipton Building Society, which is one of the bi biggest building societies in the UK, and they've been talking about this, and they've been there were some teasers out there from their main senior managers that they were looking at 100% mortgages. Well, they've gone and done it. So uh, there are some eligibility sort of requirements for 100% mortgages, which basically means you don't need any deposit. Um, you can put some deposit down if you wanted to. Uh, the key eligibility criteria around the 100% mortgage in the UK is each applicant must be first-time buyers. So it's only for first-time buyers. Each applicant must be age 21 and over. That's important. The same people who are renting now and have been for the last 12 months must be the same people on the mortgage. Exceptions apply, see our website. So basically they've got some exceptions. But the key driving point around that is must have proof of rent for the last 12 months in a row within the last 18 months. So it's really for those people that are renting a property right now, paying a load of rent, chucking their money down the drain, as some of my clients put it, and they're now looking to buy a property, but they just, because they're having to pay this rent, they haven't got the money to save up, they don't have the bank of mum and dad as necessary to go and run to, uh, which a lot of people are uh, relying on, so they, you know, they're looking for a, a, deposit, uh, a, a low deposit sort of mortgage. Each applicant must have no missed payments or debts or credit commitments in the last six months. Now, that's an interesting one, because... In my experience, if you have had late payments and missed payments, getting a high loan to value, anything over 90%, is difficult anyway, right? Um, but not impossible. The monthly mortgage uh, payments must be equal or lower than the average last six months rental cost, okay? So essentially, it needs to work out cheaper or equal to your rent. Um, so the lender knows it's sustainable, right? Deposit, deposits can be less than 5%. Maximum loan size is £600,000 and not available for new builds. As you may know, new builds, typically you need a greater level of deposit for new builds. The reason for that, and I get this asked quite a lot, is because there is no history on that property, okay? They can't say, oh, number 22 sold, um, you know, last year for X amount, or number 43 sold two years ago for this amount, because there is no... Um, past history or for that property to look at so lenders are a little bit more cautious because what they're worried about is new build premiums generally are priced higher anyway because it's a new build property so in this in this sort of property uh, this sort of scheme it's not available obviously it's not available for other schemes like shared ownership right to buy and all of those sort of things um what do I think about it? Well, I think it's a good addition. Um, I'm, not, you know, I'm not a huge fan of uh, high loan to value mortgages, but I understand why they're there, and I think it's good to have the flexibility there and the options there. It really comes down to your circumstances. So I think a couple or person that's looking to go for this type of deal has to have good affordability, which means they have to have good income, and they must, you know, not be stretching everything. The problem that we've got sometimes when I get client inqu inquiries is. They've got low deposit. They're trying to push their maximum loan. They've got ex expenses. They've got lots of loans. They're just trying to push on every single level. They're just trying to push it, okay? So, yes, if you don't have deposit, but if you've got good affordability, you can show your proof of, uh, you know, that you've been paying your rent. You've got no late payments. You're not in a distressed situation. Why not? You should be able to go for this type of schemes. And I think with the way the market is, um, uh, you know, there should be options. Um, I'm not going to go through rates for 
for compliance reasons, okay? Um, and this is just for information purposes as well. Obviously, what I'll do is I will put the information out there on our website uh, by the end of today uh, to give you an idea of what the rates look like, and I'll leave the link below in the description. But I think, uh, you know, it's it's a good thing. It's got no fee as well. The product doesn't have a fee. So, you know, some uh, products have got a 999 fee or 1995 or 1495 This product comes with no fee. So, it's really made up for those people that don't have a lot of deposit but have got affordability. They've got the income to make it work. Income multiples, I think historically, and I haven't run this because it's new, historically, income multiples tend to be around four and a half times income for that, for such high loan to value schemes. So anything over 90% tends to be with a lot of lenders, they probably cap you around four and a half times income. Incidentally, the old help to buy was capped at four and a half times income. So I would be surprised if they're going five times income, for example. But again, it's too soon to know. But I just thought I'll let you know that this product's now available. If you are someone who's got uh, a low deposit levels, it's there for you. Uh, but obviously, there's a lot of 95% mortgages out there. Um, and, you know, it really does come down to the reasons why you haven't got that 5% deposit. Remember, guys, we're in a really funny phase at the moment within property. You've got some properties that are doing well, and you've got some properties that are stagnating, and you've got some properties that are falling. 100% mortgage m means negative equ equity, potentially, if it doesn't go your way. So buying a property is not just about getting a mortgage, it's actually buying the property and getting the right property that you know you know that potentially you can add value to it, potentially it will go up because you don't want to be sitting in negative equity. Uh, I've still I've still got people phoning me that are on the old Northern Rock 100% mortgage, okay? This is before Northern Rock went under and became virgin money they were doing 100 percent mortgages then more than 100 percent sometimes okay and they're still in negative equity and i've still got some people that phone and inquire about me and this was like 2007 2006 okay i've still got people on those type of mortgages that are just basically can't go anywhere else because you know the the house is worth less than what you know um what they've got in the mortgage so um let me know what you think let me know your thoughts about 100 percent mortgages would you be someone who's interested in 100 percent mortgages do you think it's a positive move do you think it's a negative move do you think it's risky do you think it's just fueling the housing market um yeah let me know what you think and i'll catch you on the next one take care The content of this video does not constitute giving advice. It's purely for information purposes. All cases should be discussed with a professional mortgage broker. As a mortgage is secured against your home or property, it could be repossessed if you do not keep up mortgage payments. Niche advice is authorized and regulated by the Financial Conduct Authority.